the Michael K. Show, everybody. We'll make our picks um, after we talk to our, our next guest. We've been looking forward to talking to him. Coming off an absolutely unbelievable year that uh, should get him the Cy Young Award in the American League, unless there's no justice in the world. And that is a New York Yankees ace, Garrett Cole. And he joins us now on the show. Garrett, it's Michael, Don, and Peter. How you doing? I'm doing great, guys. Thanks for having me on. Well, thanks for coming on. Obviously, you, you're always all about team. That being said, Yankees not going to the playoffs after Sunday. Can you still allow yourself um, time to enjoy the personal season that you had and how great you were? Yeah, I, I mean, I think a little bit of that just happens naturally. Um, you know, the guys are playing so hard in those games and um, – you know they were finding extra energy to to get up for them and and we were all kind of you know excited so i think we've i think we've kind of celebrated that a little bit um in just uh just our own way over the last couple of days and and at the same time looking forward to you know got three extra games to keep getting keep getting better and keep figuring figuring some stuff out so did you have any indication at all that this could happen this season? Did you see this coming, or was it a complete surprise that you guys took the step back that you did? Um, I mean, obviously, a couple of the injuries are quite shocking uh, and rare. Um, you know, but it's it's i mean it's just it's always on paper in spring training i mean it's just you know it's like every time i get this this answer or this question in february or whatever it's like come check with me you know in september and i'll, and I'll let you know where we're at mm -hmm. i mean because anything is possible anything is possible um but i, I mean certainly certainly rizzo and, and aaron for sure those injuries are those injuries are just that's just unfortunate playing hard baseball so now uh, your game, if it's possible, because you've been a great pitcher for a long time, you took a step up this year. You kind of eliminated the home runs, which bedeviled you last year. Was that a point of emphasis for you coming into this season, Garrett? Or was it just, hey, last year they went out, this year they don't go out? Well, certainly um, <clears throat> certainly, I, I felt like I had a little more control over one year they go out and one year they don't go out. So I, I definitely put some some thought and concerted effort into some strategies to try to mitigate the slug and, and understand how, you know, how I lost games or how I lost some leads late um, that we otherwise could have, you know, locked up. Um, and yeah, made, you know, made it, made a couple adjustments just, uh, just overall to, to, you know, essentially just become better at preventing runs. Now, you have not spoken about the Cy Young because you still had starts to go. And you made your last start the other day, and you went out with a bang, a complete game shot against, uh, against Toronto. So that being said, Garrett, what would winning – because I know you love baseball and your, your appreciation of baseball history. What would it mean to you? What does that award mean to you? I mean, it's the most <clears> – it's the most coveted uh, award, you know, in the pitching world. I mean – I guess you could still consider MVP a possibility. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that Kershaw and Verlander did it, but it's just uh, what a, I mean, what a, I don't know. It's hard to put into words how, how humbling it would be. And, you know, it, the statistics that go into this are, are personal statistics. Right? I mean, everybody, could, you know, everybody just contributes to this. You know, our college coach used to always tell us that, you know, for guys to get individual awards and have you know great seasons, the team collectively has to play well together. I mean, that's just that's just the bottom line. And we didn't push it as far as we wanted to, but you know, I mean, they still fought every single pitch and 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 didn't give up any outs. And so, to represent this organization, like my you know obviously my favorite team, um, would be very special. And to represent you know all the hard work that everyone else put into it would be, I mean. It would be great for all of us. It would just be what a special mm -hmm. honor. No, I'm just taking a glance at, at your stats this year, and there's just eight categories that I counted that are in bold in which you lead the league in. Innings pitched, um, winning percentage, earn run average. Is there a stat that you're the most proudest of this year? 
I mean, I always dig just getting to the post, to be honest. Um, I respect guys that go out there and and pitch, you know, um, just as much as they, as they possibly can. Uh, and that was the type of game that I, you know, dreamed of of having you know, growing up just being that just being that workhorse being being you know a guy that i mean we only get to go on the field two times a week you know it's, i love playing it so i want to be out there as much as possible so I, I take pride in those stats um there's a lot of discipline i mean there's a lot of obviously talent and and you know amazing blessings from from God that allow me to do those things, but you know the hard work behind the scenes that I also contribute is, you know, makes those statistics worthwhile. Well, you mentioned this, and you know, we remember you as a little boy in the 2001 World Series in the stands. The Yankees were always your favorite team, and although you've been here a while, I've never asked you this: Has it lived up to everything you dreamed of as a little boy? I mean, it is. It is the most it's so special to play for the city of New York. I mean. You know, the the, uh, the buy-in from the fans and the market. I mean, the the level of care. It's like, it, I mean, it's just that there are things about that that I mean, I'm gonna be honest. There are things about that that sometimes aren't the most enjoyable part of it. But like, you know, life's not perfect, and you got to get through stuff that you don't sometimes like. And at the same time, like, the rewards and. You know the benefits of playing in new york and, and it's just such a high level of, of excellence that people demand it's just a great how could you want how could you want it anything different how could you want anything different so and i you know so we haven't achieved our goals but that doesn't mean that we don't have opportunities in the future to, to do something special and you know i mean there's no better place to, there's no better place to do it than new york so Garrett, one thing I think fans think about a lot with this team is like what's going on with the lo in the locker room. Uh, you know who sort of plays a leadership role. Uh, first of all, do you consider yourself a, a leader in that locker room, and what kind of leader? And is it challenging to lead when, as you said, you're only on the field a couple days a week? Um, I w would consider myself a leader. Yes, um, the type of leader. Um, it's hard for me to categorize. Um, you know, I, I just try to lead in, in every, I try to lead in every kind of way that I can. Um, and and just be as, as good of a teammate, as well-rounded of a teammate as I can. So, um, hard for me to say there. And I, I forgot the last part of your question, but I think it was something about, you know, how is it to lead in this situation or whatever? Um, I mean, oftentimes we learn things from, from failing and oftentimes we learn a lot of things about people when people are failing um, and we need to get better. And so like just the way that Aaron goes about his business and sets the tone, you know, I, I just try to go about my business the same way and set the tone. Um, I just be a professional and bring it every single day. You know, regardless of regardless of the outside circumstances or how easy or how hard it is to get up for the game, it's just to to go out there and do your job, and it's a fun job, and we're blessed to do it. So, um, you know, I, I just try to reinforce I think those characteristics every every time I come to the park. I know we have time for one more question, so let me ask you this, Garrett. Uh, Aaron Judd said the other day he's going to be involved in the offseason. He's going to talk to Hal Steinbrenner. He's going to tell him what he thinks needs to go on and things that need to change. And you're just as important as, as Aaron is uh, to the future and the present of this organization. Will you also be active in that sense? Well, well certainly I have conversations with all the same people Aaron does, and Aaron and I have a lot of conversations together. Um, I mean, because, you know, as – you know, he's, uh, we're a representative of the team team as well, so you know we care about all, all the players' opinions and and what they have to offer. So not only is it just Aaron's thoughts, but he speaks on behalf of of everyone else. So I mean, you know, I uh, yeah, I'll be you know, I'll be right there with him to support him, whatever he needs to say, whatever he needs to bounce off. Like, I mean, we're all we're all in this together. So ultimately, we all should be. 
tugging on the rope the same way. Um, I mean, that's that's how I feel about that. I'll tell you what, congratulations on a great year. Yeah. It's a blast watching you pitch every five days. It's it's actually a pleasure. So I hope you had fun doing it because it sounds like you do and, and it seems like you do when you're on the mound, like you're really locked in and you're doing something that you love. I think it shows. Well, thank you very much. Um, I appreciate it, and I, and I do have fun. I'm looking forward to having some more fun too. Uh, good stuff. Thanks, Garrett. All right, take care.